in 2020, Akai releases a brand new product, the MPC Live 2, an update to the MPC Live that came out in 2017. Except now they got speakers and it's kind of hot. Sounds great. This is a testament to how good M Music Brands has become to get everybody together to make a great product. Now they already got the MPC One, they've got the MPC X, and they got the MPC Live 2. Then in 2020, they launch a brand new product, MPC Beats. It's a free download. It supports all popular MIDI controllers. You get two audio tracks, eight MIDI instrument tracks. You got VST and AU support. We got sample content for free coming in. We got effects and virtual instruments built right in. It works with every single door I've ever used, and it's kind of hot. And it's free. So anyone can use it, even a competitor, guys who have machine, download the app to see how NBC works. It's a pretty cool idea. Plus, FL Studio is like so popular. Well, guess what? You can load up your MPC app right up onto FL Studio and you're in. Even with MPC 2.0, you can still go inside of FL Studio. They're opening up the entire platform to make sure that the software can work with anything. So in 2021, Native Instruments comes out with a brand new machine called Machine Plus. And it works just like an MPCX or an MPC Live or an MPC One. It's a standalone. And the battle's heating up now between Machine, or rather Native Instruments, and Akai Pro. But Akai's not done yet. So in that same year, 2021, Akai breaks out the MPC Studio, a brand new MPC Studio. Now they've got everything on board here that they have on other items as well. It's a controller, a super controller for the MPC app. It comes in a typical MPC box. You get two MIDI cables, you get one USB cable, and you get the MPC Studio. Now we have an instructional video here in YouTube on how to use the Akai MPC Studio. You'll see a link in the description below for this video and we'll teach you everything on using the MPC Studio. Now here's Andy with the setup for starting your first track. Now to access the drum kit that we're gonna be using to start our beat, if you press the program select button, this allows you to select any of the drum kits loaded into MPC's memory by using the data wheel, which is displayed on the LCD screen. Now, if you want to load more drum kits from the factory libraries, just press the browser button and this will open up MPC's media browser. Now, once this is opened, you will now see on the screen all of the drum kits that are available in that expansion pack. So as an example, we're inside Gold Dust, and as I move through the screen, it's given me a preview of each drum kit. And to load that kit, simply just push down on the data wheel. And now that will be loaded into MPC's memory. Now we can access all of the different expansion packs as well. Just simply click on the relevant expansion pack and you'll see all of the different drum kits that are available inside each pack. Now if you select sample, this allows you to now browse all of the different samples that are available in each expansion pack. Now to do this is very straightforward and we can do this from the hardware. So if you hold down the mode button and press pad 16, this will automatically save everything that you've got loaded into memory. If we go to file on the software, we can go to save project as, which allows you to create a new project name or use save project to rewrite over your existing name. Now that we've recorded our kick and snare, we're going to lay down our hi-hats. But let's turn off our metronome. Now we have a rhythm by pressing shift, play and start. So let's do a basic hi-hat pattern. And now we're going to use note repeat to double and triple our hi-hats, but this will be controlled by using our touch strip allowing us to jump between time divisions, making it really easy to program hi-hats. Simply hold down the touch strip and the pad.
now that we've recorded our basic hi-hat pattern, let's turn off overdub, and then we're gonna navigate to bank B so we can access more samples. And we're gonna use this snap to add over our clap. Now let's add some percussion elements over the top of our beat. So now we're gonna navigate back to bank A and we're gonna add just a, a vocal texture just to the end of our beat. So let's hit overdub. And now I wanna add some more lo-fi hats to give it a second level of rhythm. Now these are working alongside our brighter hats. So now we're gonna do some triplets using note repeat again and the touch strip. So hit overdub and we'll do triplets on this. Now this is our instructional video that you'll see on YouTube on the MPC Studio Mach 2. That's the opening scene you'll see of that video. But really I want to just scroll down further and show you something more about the video and you can see the chapters. We have a lot of chapters on this video so that means we cover everything possible for you to understand how to use the MPC Studio Mach 2. Everything's there for you. Just click on any link inside the chapters. You can watch that chapter. It will show you how it works and the best way to use it. Now, if you want to support the channel, you can also purchase the video from the link in the description below. First, we have our pads. On the bottom of the pads, to the left is the name of the pad, to the right is the name of the mode. Press shift and press the pad and you get the mode. Those are our MPC pads and they're classic MPC pads that work the same way. Always great pads. Then we have our track select and below that we have select sequence or sequence select. Next we have our program select and track type. Next we have browser and up. Next, we have our data wheel and our plus and minus buttons right there to change the data or any parameter. Then we have sample select, which is right there. We have sample start and loop start. That's sample start and loop start right there. That's sample end to get the ending of the sample. We have tune and we have fine. So I can fine tune any particular sound or sample. We have undo and redo. We have tap tempo and then we have master tempo. This is our shift button. Hitting shift will select any name on the bottom of any button. We have the mode button, switching between modes. We have MIDI and we have track view. These are our quantize button to quantize our pattern. Time and correction on or off and configuration. We have our zoom and our vertical zoom. We have automation, read or write, off or on. Here we have our locate section. I can locate an event, I can go to the start or go to the end. Now below here we have our transport section. We have record, overdub, stop, play, and play start. This is our channel strip. We can do many things here. We can move faders. We can select our timing correction. We can also select our repeat value here and even more. This is our note repeat and by pressing shift, we can latch it. We can 
make it permanent. We have the touch strip and configuration. The configuration at touch strip. We also have pad bank. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Eight different banks. We have our full level and half level for the sound of audio output from a pad. I can copy or I can delete. I can mute a pad or mute a track. And here it's 16 levels. I can choose 16 levels right there. And then the bottom one is erase. This is the last pad right here, or button rather. This is erase. Those are all the controls for our MPC Studio Mach 2.